In my last update video, I mentioned how uh, I talked about the uh, GoFundMe my friend created for me back when I was first diagnosed. And as a result of that, there was four people that donated to it. But there's part of the story that I didn't share, simply because I wanted, well, first of all, to ask my wife's permission. And second of all, because I felt it was important to make a separate video for this. So, you know, three of the people who donated, I'm assuming is a result of me talking about it since there's no other donations for four months. And once again, I just want to say I appreciate everyone who's donated these three people, everyone in the past, everyone in the future. But there was something that I discovered. And that was that the fourth and final donation, which also happened to be donation 100, once again, sign from the universe, symbolism and everything, but that last donation was from my wife. And the way that um, GoFundMe works is if you select the option to donate anonymously, no one who sees the fundraiser publicly will be able to see the information, but the organizer of the fundraiser, so the friend who created for me, as well as the person receiving it, so myself, will be able to see that person's information. And my wife didn't know that, of course, so she had no idea that I was going to see it. In fact, she was trying to hide the fact that she donated. And yesterday I signed in and I saw it and I'm like, wait, first of all, why did she donate? Second of all, why didn't she tell me? So, you know, I asked her and she's like, oh, you know, I, I didn't want you to know. I wanted to, to be anonymous. And I mean, that's, that's, that's the exact thing. It's like, first of all, the fact that, you know, she lives in Nicaragua and, you know, it's life there is not easy. It's, it's very difficult and her budget is limited. She's always helping her family and everything. And just realizing like the fact that she would go out of her way to donate money, given her situation, it just touched me so much. It's like in the past, I know myself in the past, if this would have happened, I would have felt guilty. I would have felt like, oh, I don't deserve to be with someone so generous, someone so amazing, someone so selfless. But now with my new perspective of the world, it's just like, I'm so grateful. Like, yes, I deserve to be with her. And yes, I'm so grateful for it. And the thing is, I'm not, or I didn't used to be a very emotional person. I still am not to some degree, simply because I'm so positive that I sometimes kind of not ignore, but bypass the negative emotions. So in the past, just slight side story, just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, when my grandmother passed away, um, you know, I got the news and I was sad, but I wasn't like, I didn't cry. And I remember at some point I'm like, all right, I feel like it's important for me to cry. So I closed all the lights, lied down on the floor. I used to do that. I just used to enjoy it. I don't know why it was always like something a way for me to kind of like relax and disconnect from everything. Anyway, so the point is turned off all the lights, laid down on the floor and literally tried to force myself to cry because I know like she's my grandmother. I, you know, I loved her and it's sad that she passed away and I'm going to miss her. It's weird that I'm not crying. So let me try to force myself to cry. Ended up not working. I did cry the funeral anyway, but the point is I had a hard time processing emotions, especially negative emotions, not to say that crying or sadness is necessarily negative, but I would try to avoid the negative ones and focus more on the positive ones. So all that to say that I used to have a hard time with my emotions. Since then, I've worked a lot on myself and I've gotten way better at expressing them and feeling them and not holding them back. And, you know, I've cried multiple times since then, but that's the thing. It's like, it used to be difficult. And when I, I saw what my wife did and I realized what she did, I just, I was so touched and it's like, you know, tears filled my eyes and I'm just, I was in such a state of gratefulness and it's, it's something that I haven't experienced in a while. I mean, not the gratefulness, like I experience that every single day, but it's just like that level of it to bring tears to my eyes. And throughout the day after that, like that was the day that I went for my treatment. That was yesterday. So I remember like on the subway, there was like just thinking about it brought tears to my eyes once again. Like I didn't cry, but it's like my eyes were watery as I was on the subway. And it's just like, 
it's just it, it blows my mind that that someone would be so like selfless and I don't know if you understand like to me it's such a huge like gesture maybe from the outside perspective it, it doesn't seem like that like I don't know how you watching this will interpret this but to me it's just like wow like I just I couldn't believe it and that's why because even though she's you know she's a relatively private person she doesn't necessarily want to share everything publicly like I do which I completely respect and it's exactly why I asked her permission first but I mean it was such a, a huge deal to me that I'm like I feel the need to share this it's like can I record a video can I share this this experience because I feel like it's so important and I hope that maybe some people who see this will be inspired to do something like this for a loved one because it truly it's like the utmost how do I describe this it's like the utmost form of not flattery but of like of of love not not money itself just the gesture like this level of gesture this level of selflessness it just completely it just moved me so much so if if you're watching this and I'm speaking to my wife now if you're watching this I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and there are no words to describe how grateful and how lucky I feel to have you in my life which is ironic because I'm a storyteller I tell stories all day long but it's just this level I, I, I can't find the words to describe it aside from just saying Thank you. I, I love you so much. I'm so grateful for you and everything that you represent. And I've told you this pretty much since the beginning of everything. You are my cure. And just to clarify for people watching, what I mean by that is I'm not putting the pressure of she needs to cure me on her shoulders. What I mean is her love, her support, her commitment, all of that gives me the strength to be the person I need to be in order to be cured. That's what I meant by that. So thank you once again. I love you so much.